nine. That's one. That's one. The Fifty. Oh, there you go. Fifty. Just kidding, I only did seven. I know. All right, so after another long day, we're back in the shop. Quick workout just to get you pumped up before we do another Jeep installation. So I went on to fourwheelspart.com. I ordered another part for the Jeep. This is for the rear of the Jeep. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing of what I bought and um, just install it real quick. So there's gonna be a quick video of an installation and then we're gonna add in the Jeep, something I already had, but we're gonna do a relocation. So for that reason, we purchased this new product, uh, it's maybe a product, but I'm gonna let you guys see that real quick. But I had to get in a quick workout because we're gonna have to remove a heavy piece off the Jeep for the moment. So you, know, you gotta get pumped up real quick and you know, you gotta, you gotta flex the muscles. Sorry, I'm showing off a little bit. I didn't got I need to work out more. But <laughs> anyways, we're gonna go jump back on the Jeep and see, first off, we're gonna let you guys see what I purchased and we're gonna do a quick installation to the Jeep. So let's get it going. Okay, so there, here we have it, another Smithville part. Um, so for a while I've been wanting a relocation license plate bracket for my Jeep. Actually on the YJs they have, mostly on all Jeep, but my YJ has one of those flip down uh, license plate brackets for the fuel uh, tank so you can get access to the fuel cap etc and um, so I like that idea that's pretty new but I wanted it to be right up on, on the rear tire and also have a reverse camera for the back so I can see because the big 35 inch tire in the back covers most of the rear window so I can't really see when I'm backing up and also just to have to relocate my LED bar that I was that was actually attached to the roll bar but since like I mentioned again <laughs> the big 35 inch tires in the back so it pretty much blocks half of the, the light being exposed towards the back so for that reason being I purchased this relocation bracket um, license plate bracket etc or whatever you want to call it anyways that being said we're going to be installing this on the Jeep and it's pretty cool so let's open up real quick and see what do we have Go. I ordered this online up there two days before we'll parts real quick. So I'm gonna get this part real quick. So let's take a look real quick. Alright. Alright, so this is the, the part of the bracket that's been attached to the rear where the tire is bolted on. So you guys can see right here it has all different bolt patterns for various Jeeps, uh, Cherokees. Wranglers all up to the current. I'm pretty sure to the janky. I'm not sure the JL, but I'm pretty sure and it goes up all the way down to the YJ, so This is this this is will complement to my rear tire carrier because it's a smitty build as well So that's pretty good. I tried to it already and this right here This is the piece if I can get it out So this is the piece where the license plate uh, will be attached to if I go that route. Uh, I might do something else with it, but this is what I wanted. So you guys can see it attaches and it comes with comes with all the hardware. Okay, so that's cool. It's all together and it was fairly cheap. There's more expensive one, um, but I went with this one. It was cheaper and uh, saved a few bucks, right? Uh, can use that for something else. Anyways, what my plans are is to relocate that rear LED bar and attach it back here so I can have exposure to the rear, right? Um, so I won't have to throw away my LED bar and purchase a new one when I just reuse mine. So anyways, that being said, um, it already has the brackets up on top. You can put the, put the their brake light up back here, which I'm going to do as well. Um, but let me get this real quick, show you guys. So this is my small LED light bar, okay? So that's what was attached on the top of the roll bar. But like I said, the, the rear tire was in the way. So now I'm gonna re relocate it right about here. So it's gonna be attached right in front of the rear tire and in the center. So it's gonna be something like this. All right, so I'm just gonna mock it up real quick just so you guys can take a quick look. So this is what we have in plan. And of course, there needs to be an extension on the wire harness, okay? So this is not gonna reach all the way to the rear. So real quick, Put this down. Purchased one on Amazon. It is exact fit already. So if you guys 
want to link to this or have more questions about this wire harness extension, um, comment down below and I'll, I can guide you to that. If I can put it down in the description, I'll do that as well, but um, this is the one I'm going to use. And this is, this is a good amount of wire that's going to reach from the roll bar all the way to the rear tire. So this is perfect. It's going to clip right in. You guys can see right here. I was a little hesitant about purchasing it, but I took the risk and there you go. It fits perfect. So it's going to attach there and it attaches to the, to the wire that goes to the toggle switch and to the battery. So there we go. I'm going to clip this all together put it together and bring you guys along. So this is going to be a quick installation and we're going to see how it looks. I bet you it's going to look good. Okay, so let's get it done. This is the reason why I got a quick workout because I'm going to pull this big tire off the back. But to help me out, I put this small little tire uh, table right here. Tire. Table. Put this small table to help me out. I'm just going to put it down a little bit and then lay it down on the other table on the side. And it should be easy for me to take off. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse so, so I don't bore you guys and just bolt out the... Uh, the lug nuts off and get the tire off. So today I'm going to be using my small Dewalt Impact. Uh, this one's a good one. So if you guys are interested in this one, the Dewalt one, the Dewalt's a good product. I've had this for three plus years. Okay. So Dewalt, if you're seeing this, sponsor me. Okay. Sponsor me with your product. All right, guys. Let's do this. So we got the tire off. Well, slightly slanted to the side just for support, and we're going to attach this new bracket on. So let's see how we're going to fit this. No, I'm going to have to move the tire a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be a little, not sketchy, but just going to be balancing this a little bit just so it won't fall over. Okay, so basically this is just going to line up to one of the holes. I just got to find the right one, and I think I found it. So basically that's how it's going to look. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty neat. All right, and then the tire will slide on back on, and uh, we'll be able to attach this part, the bracket, uh, for the license plate and lights. Uh, once this tire goes back on. All right, so we're gonna do that and then I'll show you guys once I install this part. Okay, so we're about to be done, pretty much. We just gotta install this last piece of the bracket and attach the pin and insert the locking pin as well. That will go straight through here and then do one of these holes onto the brackets that already attached to the tire. And then there's another, like, I guess a security ball, just tying it up from beneath. And that'll keep it from rattling so much. Cause it does rattle a little bit, but that doesn't matter. It won't be that much once I tighten this screw up. So let's, let's put that in real quick and then we'll take a closer look to it. All right, so. Pretty good installation, let me say that. Um, if you're looking for a relocation bracket for a license, or like me, you're just trying to get a relocate LED bar in the back, or just reverse lights in general, this, this will look up very clean. And there you go, the locking pin's in, and all I gotta do is put this last screwing pin. But like I was saying, it's very easy, just the tire was pretty heavy. <laughs> I did have to use some muscle just to muscle it up there, but there we go. Look at that. No more rattling. It's nice and stiff now, so that's perfect. That's what I wanted. I don't want no more rattling. Um, yeah, because rattling sucks, especially when you're on your trails and uh, it's annoying. I'm just going to tighten up that real good just so it doesn't freaking pop off when I'm going off road. I could probably still get the parts, so it's not, it's not a problem. They give you a number you can call if you're missing parts, fix it, and you can get access to that. Um, besides that, I don't even think I might need that locking pin that because it makes some rattle. And what's cool, it gives you all these, uh, well, it gives you the license plate bolts. So if you want to attach your license plate, all you gotta do is just open up the bag and tighten it up. But it's there, it's nice. So let me get my LED bar real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that, took a while, but basically it's gonna look like this. I can get it in here. There we go, look at that. Just how I wanted it. Okay, so that's a quick mock-up. Sadly, this is video is gonna go incomplete just for the reason that I don't have the bolts to basically clamp down the the bolts to the LED bar. But I mean, just you guys get the point. I am gonna turn it on just so you guys can take a look at it. 
But for that reason, it, we're not going to complete this, and I don't want to bore you guys going to the hardware, doing all that. But basically, this is how it's going to look. If I have a line license plate up on the tire, I can do this. Or if I put my backup camera, I can attach it right here as well. So it's a pretty clean setup. Obviously, I still got to attach the the wire harness to reach to the toggle switch and battery. But it's all good. So now some of you guys may be concerned, be might be like, oh well, how the heck are you gonna take your tire out? It's gonna take so much time and actually it's not. Like I mentioned, this is just a clip for my LED bar. So all I gotta do is just reach behind and just unclip it and then that pin that was on the other side or behind this license plate bracket, um all you gotta do is just freaking um pull it out and then everything just pops up. So it's basically not gonna take you that long. And then if you have an impact gumball, just bzz, 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 Fast, you take it all out so nah, it's not even gonna be a headache so if you're worried about that you're concerned about that don't even trip about it it's all good um, you can just three seconds you'll get it all apart if you're quick and if you have an impact gun so that's not a concern so don't worry about that but let's 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 finish off by installing the wire extension wire harness and light it up all right so we'll we can finish up the video with that Check that out. What do you guys think? Check it out, West Coast. I'm representing you in the back. <laughs> That's right. Check that out, though. That looks sick, huh? Let's take a look at the behind, how it lights up. Obviously, it's daylight, so we can't see the full exposure. But check that out. It's going to give a uh, good bright light to the rear of my Jeep. So, I mean, obviously, I still can't see because of my big tire in the back but all I have to do is just get a, a camera a, a backup camera and that'll solve that problem but at least my LED bar is useful again instead of being on top of the roll bar and just being covered by the tire so now it's I think it's gonna be a lot better here so what do you guys think comment down below uh, just don't hate me okay <laughs> this is just the route I chose this is the what I like most I thought it would look cool um, we all have different ideas, we all have different opinions, so don't bash me, okay? Keep the comments rated G. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna end it, this part of the installation. It's all a success, quick, easy installation, so I'll give you guys my final thoughts right now. All right, there you go, that's another complete installation, another addition to my Jeep. Um, it was cool, it was a good purchase, not too bad within my budget range, so that was cool. Other than that, finally got it used to this LED bar. That's the main thing that I was super happy about. And it was cool. I also got a workout out of it. <laughs> Unless you know this big tire. So if you got 35s, you're running heavier tires. Imagine a 40 inch tire, man, that's super heavy. But anyways, I was able to work out a little bit. Flex my muscles to you guys. Hopefully there's some girls out there just playing. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a comedian. Sorry, I know I'm not funny. I'll stop, I'll stop right there. Anyways, thanks for being uh, in this YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for viewing this video and with that we'll end this this quick video hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next installation so keep on flexing guys all right <laughs>